Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Steven. One of our longtime subscribers has asked us to do a video about Steven's blood counts. And by blood counts, we're not talking about PCR results. We're talking about the basic blood counts of white blood cells, red blood cells, hemoglobin, and platelets. In fact, in the beginning, your blood counts will most likely be imbalanced. And this will be the reason that you get tested to see if you have CML. For many of us, when these blood tests come back abnormal, it is the first sign that something might be wrong. This is how I was eventually diagnosed with CML. But the blood test for my physical came back with my white counts very, very high. After this, I was referred to a specialist and ultimately they ran some tests to determine that I did have CML. When I was first diagnosed, my red blood cells and my hemoglobin were very low and my white blood cells were extremely high. In fact, the lab report said critical next to my white blood cell count. Some people can also have high platelets at diagnosis, but mine were normal. I took hydroxyurea to get my white blood counts down before I started my Tisigna. I started tracking my blood test results each week. I had a chart that showed the white counts, the red counts, the hemoglobin, and other components of the blood test. Here is the chart where I track my blood tests. I have the low and the high range on the left with the low highlighted in yellow and any high results highlighted in red. As you can see in the beginning, my white blood cell counts are really high, starting at over almost 400,000 and getting down to 17,000 in the first week, thanks to me taking hydroxyurea. After week one, I started my Tisigna and these numbers got even below normal slightly, but quickly rebounded. As you can see in the red, with the red blood cells and the, the hemoglobin, those numbers started off below normal but quickly built back up to the normal range and have been there ever since. My platelets actually were normal, but at some point dipped below the normal range for a few tests. But as you'll notice in those, the platelet numbers, they're just slightly below the normal range, so it really wasn't an issue. Ever since these, these first few months, my blood test results have been normal. One of the first milestones with CML treatment is to get to complete hematological response or CHR. This means that your blood counts have come back to the normal ranges. Now everyone is different and everyone will go at a different pace. It's not a competition to see how fast your blood counts can turn, return back to normal. Everyone will react differently to the drug and heal at a different pace. I've shown my results here because I feel like it can be a reference point to see what other CML survivors have experienced. And I want to thank everyone that has shared their results in the comments. And I encourage you to continue to share your results because this is how we all learn together. If you want more videos about CML and healthy living, please subscribe by clicking the button below. Thank you for watching today. Together, together we heal. heal.